again, right, I have values, variables for sample versus population, but I'm talking about are your correlation coefficient, linear correlation coefficient, which is also rho for population. <coughs> Excuse me, I should say. Just don't. Okay. Um, you're never going to have a row that is either less than negative one or greater than positive one. It's going to be between negative one and positive one. It can be negative one or positive one, but most likely you will not see those values because that's like a perfect situation, which is never going to happen, right? Um, the closer it is to zero, the more that there is no linear correlation. And again, it's called a linear correlation coefficient because of the fact that it only measures linear correlation. So the closer to zero that it is, the um, less of a linear correlation there is. If it is zero, then there is no linear correlation. Um, you're probably never going to see a situation where it is zero either because, you know, there's always mathematics and statistical, you know, there's always a slight correlation we can make up or whatever. There might be error in that, but the closer I am to negative one, the more negative can't spell it. negative linear correlation I have. Linear, I'm going to stress it over and over again because just because we have no linear correlation, again, that doesn't mean that there is no correlation, period, no relationship, because correlation is like relationship. Um, it just means that it's not linear. We're only talking linear for this particular course. And the closer to positive one, the stronger the positive linear correlation. So if I have, and I should say strong, because as it gets as it gets closer to positive one, the stronger, and as it gets closer to negative one, the stronger. So <clears throat> if I were to see, like in this example, if I were to see, you know, a correlation visually with um with my graph, you know, I mean that's a, I would expect if it were positive, I would expect R to be closer to positive one. And, you know, R is equal to negative 0.6. This is not extremely strong, but you see that it's not zero either, which, but look, <laughs> look it's, it's more negative too, which kind of makes sense because this looks like it's going down a little bit. If I were to talk in like a line to represent it, it would be decreasing, not increasing, right? Um, but I would still say it's not strong enough to be good linear correlation. Um, so anyway, I wanted to at least talk about, because obviously we're talking about this, right? So this is important because there, there are different variables for population versus sample again, right? Again. So let me, I'm going to separate that from 